At this point, Jessa and Ben Seewald are no strangers to parenting. After all, the 27-year-old mom and 24-year-old dad already have three kids. 4-year-old Spurgeon, 2-year-old Henry, and Ivy, the newest addition to the family, at 5 months old. And the proud parents are doing everything in their power to ensure that their kids develop and progress to the best of their ability. On an episode of Counting On that aired on Tuesday, November 5, 2019, Jessa gave us an update on her son Henry's developmental progress, saying, he has some speech delays. We think it might be a good idea to just have him evaluated, have his hearing checked, and see what they think we should do next. When Henry was around 18 months old, Jessa noticed something. He wasn't communicating like his older brother did at that age or like other kids his age. Jessa also mentions that, We realize that each kid develops at their own pace, but he's not been really catching on. He's not really able to talk and communicate what he wants. A lot of times it's just grunts and pointing and that kind of thing. So the couple took Henry to the ear, nose, and throat doctor, and Jessa admits that she was a bit nervous. I feel like, especially as a mom, it's easier for me to kind of stress out, like, oh no, he's delayed, what's wrong with him? And Ben is a little more level-headed, like, it'll be okay, we'll figure it out. Jessa's sister Ginger agrees that it's easy to play the comparison game in your head, which can make you stress out about the way your child is developing. As she says in the episode, I definitely compare Felicity to other kids her age. I think most parents probably do that. You see another kid over there who's crawling, and maybe your baby isn't crawling yet, or they're not rolling over, and you can get kind of scared. But also, at the same time, you can't compare too much, because every kid is different. Jessa was asked why they decided to visit the doctor's office, and, as People reports, she explained that Henry had speech delays, as well as a really bad tongue tie when he was born, which had been clipped. Fortunately, it didn't look like Henry had any hearing loss at all based on the tests. The doctor made a point to mention that the ages between two and three are crucial for speech development, and told the couple, "...this is the time to probably really focus on getting that development going and really jump-starting it." She's right. It's incredibly important to make sure your child's speech and language development is on the right path when they're around two or three years old. Although every kid is different, Mott Children's Hospital says that parents can use a rough timeline to track their child's development. At around 12 months, babies should be able to say a word or two, should be able to recognize their own name, and should be able to imitate familiar sounds. At around two years of age, which is Henry's age, kids should be able to say short sentences, know about 50 words, and start becoming more aware and articulate about the world around them. In general, they should be asking questions and communicating better as a whole. But according to WebMD, speech delays in toddlers are extremely common. In fact, it's the most common form of developmental delay. And even though hearing loss or learning disability could be the culprit, sometimes there's no identifiable cause. Jessa and Ben were obviously quite pleased with how Henry's tests went. As Jessa said herself, "...we were very happy to hear that Henry's hearing is not an issue. His hearing is perfect. Developmentally, he's not behind. He's on track with where he should be. It just seems to be a speech issue." So at this point, the doctor has recommended that we see a speech pathologist and go from there. It sounds like Jessa and Ben are doing everything they can to love and support Henry. In fact, Jessa recently shared a sweet Instagram video featuring Henry identifying various words that she wrote down. Go Henry! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.